Hello, library friends. Thank you for joining me at story time today. Can you get your hand out and let's say hello? Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. It's good to be with you at story time. I'm so glad to see you today. Today we're going to talk about this letter. The letter I. You're right. And the letter I is a nice letter. We can draw it two ways. We can draw it a straight line down like this. Or we can draw a straight line down and make a short line at the top going across and a short line at the bottom going across. The letter I. To sign the letter I, you put your baby finger straight up to the ceiling. Just like that. The letter I. Let's sing about I. Let's sing hooray for I. Let's sing hooray for I. Let's sing hooray for I today. Let's sing hooray for I. Now let's see what kind of pictures I have today. What do I got? Ooh, look at this. What is that? You're right, an igloo. We don't live in igloos here in Stonewall, but people do live in igloos. For sure, houses made of ice. Let's sing about an igloo. Let's sing. Igloo starts with I. Igloo starts with I. Let's sing hooray for I today. Igloo starts with I. Good. What else? Ooh, look at this. What's this? Ice cubes. Ice. Some people put ice cubes in a drink to keep it cold. It's tasty. Let's thing about ice but you know what the sign for ice is this you take your hands like this and you pull them back ice like it's cold ice nice let's sing about ice ice starts with i ice starts with i let's sing hooray for i today ice starts with i that's right look at this word what is this picture an island, an island in the ocean. So an island is a little bit of land in the middle of water, an island. And you know how we sign the word island? You make an I and you make a little circle with that I on your hand. That's the island. Take your I and make a circle. Island, let's sing about island, let's sing. Island starts with I, island starts with I. Let's sing hooray for I today. Island starts with I. It does. What else? Ooh, a good one. Look at this. What's that? An ice cream cone. <gasps> Yum. Who likes ice cream? Me too. I like ice cream and I like Vanilla ice cream. I love vanilla ice cream. What kind of ice cream do you like? Oh, lots of good kinds of ice cream, aren't there? Chocolate, bubble gum, strawberry, tiger, tiger, all kinds of great flavors of ice cream. So great. Do you know how we sign ice cream? In sign language, you look, it's like you're licking an ice cream cone ice cream. Let's sing about ice cream. Let's sing. Ice cream starts with I. Ice cream starts with I. Let's sing hooray for I today. Ice cream starts with I. Now look at this. Look at my last word. What kind of a picture is this? It's a lizard. It's an iguana. Iguana. It's a type of lizard. Iguana. Let's sing about an iguana. Let's sing. Iguana starts with I. Iguana starts with I. Let's sing hooray for I today. Iguana starts with I. That's a funny creature. Should we get the magic book bag out? Read a story? Are you ready for a story? Let's get the book bag. Here it is, right here. Do you have magic in your fingers today? 
Can you wiggle them? You wiggle your fingers. I'll count to three and send me the magic. One, two, three, poof. Very good. Let's see. Look at this. Not one, two books in the book bag today. Let's, let's read this one first. This story is called I Wanna Iguana. <laughs> this story was written by Karen Kaufman Orloff and David Catro. Hmm. Let's see. Karen Kaufman Orloff is the author and wrote all the words in this story. And David Catro is the illustrator and he drew all the pictures. Nice. Are you ready? Let's read. Oh, this story has letters in it. So I'm gonna read the letters and it goes like this. Dear mom, I know you don't think I should have Mickey Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky and Stinky's dog Lurch will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. Ooh, Alex's mom wrote a letter back. Dear Alex, I am glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt that Stinky's mother would let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Nice try, though. Love, mom. Dear Mom, did you know that iguanas are really quiet and they're cute too? I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Love your adorable son, Alex. And he drew a picture and said, see? And Mom wrote back, Dear Alex, tarantulas are quiet too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mickey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, Iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser, with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Look at how big he looks there. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? Love, your concerned mother. Look, the iguana's the ring bearer. Dear mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love, your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. What fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class fish? Love, Mom. Dear Mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken the cover off the jar. Love, your son who has learned his lesson. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, 
Let's say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, Mom. Dear Mom, I would feed him every day he eats lettuce. And I would make sure he had enough water. And I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Dear Alex, a trial basis means dad and I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can have him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. Dear Mom, I'll really, really, really try to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyway? Love, Alex, the financial wizard. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom. I want a iguana. Please. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Look who's moved in. Oh, my goodness. The iguana. Do you have a pet at your house? Do you have an iguana pet? I don't know. Let's look at the other book that was in the book bag because it is a non-fiction book about iguanas. And we can see some pictures of what a real iguana would look like. There's the cover. Look at that. Okay, let's do some reading of this non-fiction book and find out some true facts about an iguana. This is an iguana. Can you see him? Look at that. A big greenish lizard is an iguana. It has a long tail, a row of spines down the middle of its back. Its coloring makes it hard to see against leaves and branches. This is an iguana. Hmm. An iguana is a common name for a number of different types of lizards. Iguanas are cold-blooded, egg-laying reptiles with four legs and a long tail. Their skin is dry and covered with hard scales. Iguanas have spines on their back and flaps of loose skin called dewlaps on their throats. Their eardrums are on the outside of their heads. Their feet have five toes with sharp claws. Look at them. Wow. Green iguanas are the kind of iguanas that people know best. These lizards grow two meters in length. Look at two meters. That's taller than Mrs. Ransom. Wow. More facts about an iguana. There's one and he's eating some leaves. Iguanas eat mostly plant foods such as fruits and berries, leaves, seeds, and flower buds. But some kinds of iguanas also eat small amounts of animal foods like bugs and grubs or fish or eggs. Iguanas depend on outside warmth to warm their bodies. They spend a lot of time basking in the sun. Look at the baby iguana. They're hatching from their eggs. Look at that.
Iguanas look kind of scary, but they're really quite peaceful. Sometimes they fight with other iguanas. Iguanas can be a pet, but a six inch green iguana, so that's 15 centimeters, he might look like a cute little pet, but in three years, it will be 10 times that size. Oh my goodness. And it can live for 15 to 20 years. Iguanas need just the right light, temperature, food, living space, medical care, and attention. Look at that. That would be a pet, but it's going to get giant. I'm not sure Mrs. Ransom would want a pet like that. But that's a green one, but it's a big one. My goodness. There's one sunning itself on a rock. Hmm. Iguanas are a very interesting creature. Such an interesting creature. Very, very neat. I think it's time to practice some drawing of our letters, some printing. You wanna go get your paper, your paper and your marker, and we will practice printing the capital letter I first. Are you ready? I have my whiteboard. So a capital letter I is a straight line down like that. And I like to draw a letter I with a small line across the top and a small line across the bottom, a capital letter I. Can you do that? Good job. Let's make two more. Let's make a capital letter I, a straight line down with a short line across the top and across the bottom capital letter I. One more. Straight line down, short line across the top, and across the bottom. Capital letter I. Did you draw, did you print three capital letter I's? Nice. Go down to part of your paper that's blank, and we will make some lowercase I's, okay? Now a lowercase i is great because it is a short straight line and a little dot on top. I love it. Can you do that? Let's do it again. A short straight line with a little dot on top makes a lowercase i. Great. One more time. A short straight line with a little dot on top makes a lowercase i. Let's look at our uppercase again. Nice. Uppercase i, lowercase i. Super! You are getting very good at printing your letters. I'm so proud of you. Good for you. Now, I think we should sing the ABCs. Let's sing the ABCs the way we sing them. At your house, or at daycare, at school at home, at the library. Let's sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? Nice. Let's sing them Mrs. Ransom's way. Let's sing them with your hands in the air, patting your legs in a rhythm all together at the same time. Are you ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E. The library's the place to be. F, G, H, I, J. Reading, reading every day. K, L, M, N, O. Reading helps your brain to grow. P, Q, R, S, T. Stories are for you and me. U, V, W, X, Y. All kinds of books for you to try. 
Z, 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 Z. Read and read and read, I said. And do you remember all the signs for the letters we've talked about so far? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Wow, we've done a lot of letters. Now today is a very good day to read a story at your house. And when you read a story, I want you to look in the book and see if you can find some capital letter I's or some lowercase letter I's in the words in your story. Can you do that? I know you can. Now, do you have thumbs today? Can you show me your thumbs? Now hide them so I can't see them. Are they hiding? And let's sing. Where is my thumb? Where is my thumb? Here I am. Here I am. Did you have a good time? Yes, I had a good time. Time to go hide away. Where is my hand? Where is my hand? Here I am. Here I am. It's time to wave goodbye now. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye now. I'll see you next time at story time. I will see you. I'll see you in a couple of days. But until then, remember to be kind to each other and to wash your hands. See you soon.